Now, staff at a restaurant in Brighton that's thought to be the first in the UK to use cannabis oil in its products say that they are just going out of business after a police raid, which they say was totally unnecessary. Well, Canna Kitchen sells food and drinks using ingredients derived from cannabis. Its owners say they checked with Sussex police and trading standards that what they were selling was legal. They believe the police are just confused about the law, as John Young reports. It is called the Canna Kitchen. The owner knew the hint of cannabis in the name would be a risk. The shutters are down on this busy summer afternoon in the youthful city because it seems the risk has not paid off. On the menu, dishes containing not cannabis, that would be illegal, but CBD, a derivative of cannabis that the owners say simply doesn't contain the hallucinogenic elements that the law forbids. They say they actually checked with the police and trading standards before opening in December, but one morning last month, as they were opening for business, around a dozen police officers turned up. As you can see, the police took almost everything, all of the stock that we had above the shelves, and pretty much most of our products. We had a variety of things, CBD oils, face creams, and it all went. It was, it was pretty traumatic. CBD oil is available on the high street. It's popular for its therapeutic properties, and a public debate has now emerged over how much of it people should be allowed to use. The mother of a nine-year-old girl from Elsham in Kent recently had large quantities of a stronger version confiscated at Southend Airport, even though it helped ease her daughter's epilepsy. But what, what do you say to viewers who may say, look, anything to do with cannabis is just, in this day and age, with the drugs problems we have, shouldn't be allowed at all? CBD has got great therapeutic benefits and has helped um, lots of people. And so isn't it time that we actually readdress these outdated stereotypes and think, how can this plant that grows from the ground actually help us and help us live a more healthy and fruitful life? Sussex Police have told us that because this is an ongoing investigation, they can't comment, but they have confirmed the details of what happened here. They've confirmed that nobody has been arrested and said the staff have always been cooperative. The risk, I think, of being associated with or believed to be connected with the idea of a cannabis cafe is that you're always going to be on the police's radar. And because of that, you do the right thing, you talk to the police when they come and talk to you, you explain everything. It still, I'm afraid, won't stop what has happened here. Staff here are hoping they will be able to reopen. Fifteen jobs are on the line, along with the owner's quarter of a million pound investment. The latest statistics in the debate about cannabis laws. Well, John joins us now from Brighton. So, John, when will the owners know the outcome of this case? Well, nothing. They simply don't know. And that's what they say is so frustrating and, in their view, so unfair. We asked the police, how long can you keep the stop before deciding whether to press charges? And their answer to us was, as long as we consider it necessary. Now, it's fair to say a broader investigation by Sussex Police into drugs offences in this city known as Operation Kneecap. Cafe's owners say, well, look, that's a very tough title, and it really shouldn't include a small business like ours, as they say, just trying to get on with what they were told was legal. The police's position, though, seems to be we have to spread the net very wide. John, thank you. Now, coming up in a moment.